For the better part of a year, Ukraine has been under relentless Russian bombardment. From missile strikes to tank and artillery fire. As Russian forces push to consolidate their gains. But in recent months, against seemingly insurmountable odds, the Ukrainians have been pushing back. A counter-offensive making key gains. Chief among them, recapturing the strategically important southern city of Kherson. The former head of the British Army believes if Ukraine can keep up that momentum in the months ahead, then the Russian president could find it increasingly difficult to cling on to power. I could see a set of circumstances where the Russian military's morale would collapse. When you've lost the will to win, when you've decided that you're defeated in your own head, then you will lose. And of course, if that was to happen, that's a game changer. I think we would see a change of regime in the Kremlin. I think we would see Putin out. There's no doubting the bravery and resolve of the Ukrainians, but its sophisticated Western-supplied weapon systems that's helped give them the edge in many of their encounters with Russian forces. Lord Dannett says it's absolutely vital that the US in particular stands firm in its support of Ukraine. Yes, it's important that the European countries do, one or two are looking a bit wobbly. Important that European countries stay behind, but really important that Uncle Sam stays behind Ukraine. That's absolutely critical because the sophisticated weaponry that's going in is the game changer. Also key is the continuation of the training of Ukrainian volunteers, particularly by Britain and Poland. Yeah, so I'm going to place the TMH at the front. I'm going to ensure that the pins yeah, are pulled out as we previously did. Yeah. Yeah, Around 10,000 Ukrainians are being trained in the UK before returning home to take up the fight. In the months ahead, Ukraine has to keep up the momentum and continue making gains in its counter-offensive. Its stated aim, to push Russia out of all Ukrainian territory. <laughs> Defence analyst Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Crawford believes recapturing Crimea would guarantee their victory. He or she who controls the Crimea or holds the Crimea basically controls uh, the Black Sea and the entrance to the Sea of Azov. If the Ukrainians uh, uh, manage to take Crimea, that might be the point at which they are prepared to negotiate for peace. In recent months, Russia has stepped up its strikes on key civilian infrastructure, heaping even more misery on Ukraine's population. Sadly, it is a grim pattern the more military success Ukraine enjoys on the battlefield, the more its beleaguered towns and cities will suffer the effects of increased Russian bombardment. Mark White, GB News.